Welcome to Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I am here with a good friend of mine, Janice Johnson Plumer from the Brockton Public Schools yes. Outreach Specialist. Mm -hmm. And you're here to talk about something a little different. Yes. We're not promoting an event. No. That has time sensitive or anything. We're promoting the fact that um, people can take advantage of SNAP, yes. which stands for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance, Assistance Program. Program. Mm -hmm. Okay, I always like that. I like acronyms. Yes. Okay. And Brockton is a great city, mm -hmm. rich and poor. Yes. And some people need a little help and a little assistance mm -hmm. to get off their feet. And I know they change funding formulas the way the state funds education. Correct. And that's affected Brockton in the past in mm -hmm. kind of a negative way, but we're trying to turn it into a positive way mm -hmm. so all our kids are counted, all the parents are counted, yes. and they get the services they need. Right. So tell us what you're trying to get the message out about. Um, last, well, in my initial role um, as a community outreach specialist was to do SNAP applications with parents and families, uh, as well as to tie them into other resources that they may need, specifically shelter um, placement, which is a last resort, but um, if they needed um, housing assistance, WIC, but mostly uh, with SNAP, you know, I basically would assist the client and try to get them food stamp benefits. It's a nice name for food stamps. Mm -hmm. um, because when you say SNAP, sometimes people say, oh, is it pitches? And I'm like, no, it has to do with food stamps benefits. So um, I happened to, you know, started getting into SNAP more often. I started researching more about SNAP and, you know, basically the role, you know, the ins and outs of the program. And I came across... Uh, an opportunity that you know you could be designated as a SNAP outreach partner. So I'm like, well, if we're already doing SNAP applications, then we would be able to get reimbursed up to 50% of what we have for each quarter for our budget purposes. So I said, oh, this is a no-brainer. We're already doing it. So I kind of you know followed up and went, looked into the steps, what's involved, and we were actually designated or approved by UMass Medical and DTA back in last September to be a SNAP outreach partner so that we can actually do SNAP applications at the Brockton Public Schools, uh, which is huge because you, you don't have to go to the Department of Transitional Assistance if you don't have time. If you know, I know a lot of times um, with SNAP now, they've made it really streamlined and technology savvy and friendly where that you can access your benefits on your smartphone. But if you don't have a smartphone, if you don't have a car, you don't have you know, if you don't have child care to, to help you to watch your kids to go to the DTA right. to take care of it, right. we can actually do it right here at the schools. Um, that is so and great. It, it's a huge um, initiative for us because now we're able to do it. Um, the application can be done right online. It takes like 10 minutes. There's a paper format that comes in different languages to meet the needs of those that may not, you know, speak English. It can be Haitian, Creole, Spanish, Portuguese. Um, we have access to a portal, so I can actually see your application, what's going on, what the status of it is, um, it, it, it's just it's a quicker turnaround time. So if people need more information, what do they? They can contact me. Okay. Um, you can contact me directly at 508-208-5518, or you can reach me at Janice Johnson Plumer, that's P-L-U-M-E-R, at bpsma.org, they can email me, but the cell phone would be the best way to reach me. Um, we do make it accessible for the parents and families because, again, it, it has with child care, transportation. I, I can go to people's residence. Um, they can come meet me at the Parent Information Center. That's where I meet most majority of the parents. Uh, wherever they need to meet me, I can meet them. And the Parent Information Center is at 60 Crescent Street. It's yes. the old Crescent Credit Union. Yes. Right diagonally across from the school department near City Hall. Yes, correct. And you got a nice parking lot there so yes. people can come. Park. And, um, you know, I think this is great. I think it makes it easy. Now, let me ask you a question. With the government shutdown that mm -hmm. just happened, people are going to have issues with SNAP. If, right. If the government hadn't reopened. And, Correct. And now let's hope and pray that we don't end up with another closure because those people are depending on right. that those assistance. Benefits. Yes. And we, what happened was um, DTA actually dispersed 
all February disbursements last, uh, like July 17th to the 20th. Mm -hmm. So what I have been telling clients and to, just to caution them to spend wisely. But if you have, you know, uh, more, you know, you have a huge household, it's hard to budget those, do you know, those monies. Sure. Because your kids need to eat and um, they need to be fed. So uh, March benefits, as of my understanding, will be available um, because the government is open. Um, we haven't received any email updates as of, as of yet, but um, we can still do SNAP applications. We can do recertifications. So if somebody has SNAP and it's been six months or 12 months interim, we can actually recertify their benefits uh, and we get credit for that as well so that we're able to assist the client. And if people don't have some of their technology, obviously they can come in in person. But after hours, mm -hmm. they can go to Brockton Public Library and use our computers if yes, they need to. Yes. But it's easier if you help people fill out. You know how when you get forms, like the FAFSA for financial oh, aid? Oh, God. That's like a tax return. Yes. So at Massasoit, we do clinics for people to do FAFSA. We help people fill in the financial aid people. Mm -hmm. All of the government forms... Sometimes they're complicated. Yes. And again, if you don't speak the language, even if you have the other languages, but you have people at the Parent Information Center that speak lo all yes, the languages. Yes, exactly. And speaking Boston. of Massasoit, I also have office hours there oh. on Fridays from 11 to 1. Um, I actually made a contact there, Patty uh, Lynch, I believe. Yeah. Um, and she actually allows me to use office space there. So, because there are some students there, from my understanding, that are looking for SNAP, and um, they don't really know the ins and outs of the whole application process. So this way, uh, in an office setting, it's confidential, and students can come in and, and do an application. Well, I gotta tell you something. I think you were pretty sharp to figure out that opportunity and bring it to the schools, because yes. You know, schools are another version of a community center mm -hmm. where people go and... They feel you, comfortable. They feel comfortable there. The kids are being picked up, dropped off, mm -hmm. and the, the schools want to connect with the parents, too. Yes. So it's kind of a win-win on both ends. Oh, yes, because then when I let parents know, they're like, oh, I didn't even know that. I didn't know I could do it there. And I'm like, yes. They're like, wow, this is great. So the word is starting to slowly trickle, and I think once it starts to... You know, it's repeated and they see signs, they see flyers, uh, it's communicated to them. I think it will it will start to pick up. Do you, does your office have any kind of a Facebook presence? Um, or does or the school department has a Facebook, the right? School, Brockton Public Schools has a Facebook page, I believe, but the Parent Information Center, I'm not sure if they do. Well, I'm going to talk to Michelle and see if I can get her this link on the video and maybe we can put it up. Okay. And the other thing I'll offer to you is we could possibly do a public service announcement at some point. Oh, like that the things nice. that you see that the ad council will tailor it to Brockton. Okay. We'll put up all the Brockton information and when we take a pause in a, a basketball or a football game yeah. or something or any of the school events we cover, we can just put it a local PSA on TV. And I would appreciate that, Mark. It's okay. very nice. Thank so you. So you always do good work. We had fun working together <laughs> yes, on the, the library, library board. And uh, I know you'll be back here. You're involved with all sorts of things in the community. I'm constantly we'll, busy. We'll bring you back again. Thank you. I appreciate and that. And just so you know, you are officially episode number 500. Oh. I don't have a prize for you Is the confetti going to come down? No. <laughs> um, actually, someone, I'm missing one of my guests um, who would have been 499, but it didn't happen. So I got the rap cue. They told me I'm done, okay. so I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.